Welcome back. Today's episode is very important for everyone who still owns an A-mount camera and is hesitating to switch to E-mount. Now, what if you're an old A-mount user? You used to have an A77 II or an A99 II or even an A58 or, or going back an old Minolta camera and you're heavily invested in good class like for example this one the 7400 SSM2 G it was awesome awesome lens and there are so many other awesome Minolta and old Sony A mount lenses that you're like you should really use them on your new E mount camera now you can use them on the the A7 III's, the A6000 series, and you can use them on the A7 IV series, or the A1, or the A7S III. You get special effects with them. Their bokeh is different, they're less perfect than the new lenses. Um, they got these, those little quirks and color schemes that you just can't find in the perfection of new lenses. So, let's try some of those. The best part is, you don't have to change anything in the menu. Lens adapters are plug and shoot. The magic word is adapters. If you're a fan of manual focus, you can get really cheap adapters like this one for example. However, you bought your new Sony camera for its autofocus system, right? With every E-mount camera, you can use your old A-mount lenses. Now, for the A6000 series, uh, for the A7 III series, their older cameras, you can use for example this one. That's the LA. EA4 adapter that will give you autofocus with the old Minolta and Sony A-mount lenses. For the newer cameras like the A7 IV, the A7S III and the A1, you can use this bad boy. It's the LA-EA5. Now this is going to give you all the possibilities that you have with modern Sony E-mount lenses. This one's going to be limited, this one's going to get all the features. So let's try them out. This is an example of how I've adapted the A7 IV with the LA EA5 and the A old A mount lens. So all the features that the camera has are now transferred to the lens, which means like eye autofocus, tracking, and having focus points everywhere on the sensor. Yes, this includes human and animal eye autofocus. And reacquiring your tracking target when it leaves the screen for a moment. In this article, I divided most Sony E-mount cameras into three categories. I've noted all possibilities and compatibilities of the LA-EA4 and LA-EA5 adapters for each category. Look up your camera to know what you can expect. So as you can see, this one, the LA-EA5 adapter, is just a little tube. It's even hollow, you know, you can just put your finger through and it's, it's nothing. There's nothing inside except on the sides where all the contacts are going to make sure the camera can get the information to the lens. And the camera is going to do all the work, it's going to do all the focusing. Unlike with the LAEA4. Now, lately I've been shooting a lot with this one. The Zeiss 135F1.8 A mount. Of course, still adapted to my A7 IV. Now for photography, excellent. It works just like a native E-mount. There is a glitch. Once you switch into video, you lose autofocus. So either this adapter gets a firmware update allowing it to use autofocus with video, but of course that would be difficult with these lenses because they're not fast enough to follow the camera. So I think it's going to be either a new adapter or native lenses if you want to use autofocus for video. Now we're going to do a small test shoot with a barbarian. Now, photographing a barbarian isn't easy. You've got twigs in front of it, you've got a face that's a little hidden, and we're going to use two lenses to see which one finds the eye first, well, or easier, because, well, as you will see, it's not the lens that finds the eye, it's the camera. So, first of all, we're going to use the 85 1.8 E-mount on the camera. That's a native Sony lens, of course. A really quick one, light, I love it. For events, it's, it's just awesome. And then we're going to use the 135 F2.8 from Minolta. That's a vintage one, really old. Um, it's got well, quirky colors. It's got a great rendition. It's a little off, a little weird, but I love it. Now, 
Let's see if they can find the eye. First up, the Sony 85mm f1.8 for E-mount. Not a G, nor a G Master, just a simple, rather cheap, but adorable portrait lens. Found the eye without even thinking, even with the wide focusing area on, as expected. So this is how it looks. The small 135 from Minolta with the Sony LA-EA5 adapter on the A7 IV. Let me warn the pixel peepers out there. The resolution of this 1986 lens is really at its limits with the 33 megapixels. Using it on the 42, 50 or 61 of an A1 or A7R would be insanity. And very arty. For older cameras you can use this one. It's the LA-EA4 adapter. In here however, in the LA-EA4, you get a mirror. Now this mirror and this little machine are going to do all the focusing. That's why you get the 15 points, just like in a DSLR. It's not the camera doing the work, it's the adapter doing the work. For the experiment with the LA-EA4 adapter, I had to use my old A6000 camera. Why? Well, on my A7 III, my A7 IV, they both have cages. And with this bulk, it does, just doesn't fit with the cage. Now you will notice the focusing points on the screen. Those 15 points in the center, those are actually the points we can use to focus. While we watch the focusing with the LAEA4 in action, a quick update. The A7 IV and the A7R5 no longer support this adapter. Hence, you can only use the LAEA5 with the latest generation of cameras. Too bad, because the LAEA4 does support video autofocus with A-mount lenses and the LAEA5 doesn't. I really hope this video inspired you to try out some vintage A-mount lenses. And if you don't like them, you may always gift them to me. As always, please like the video if you learned something. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and leave your questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Have an excellent day. Until next time.